Hey everyone, in this video I'll be walking you through how to use the Teensy sound font decoder. The first thing you'll want to do is select the version of Teensy that you're using. By default this is set to 3.2. The version that you select will affect the output you see down here in sample stats. Now you want to hit this browse button and select any SF2 file that you'd like. At this point you'll likely want to modify the output settings. Change the name of your output like so, and then choose a folder for your output to be saved to. Head over to the Instruments column, and you'll see a list of all the instruments contained within your sound font file. Choose an instrument that you like. Pick the samples that you want to see decoded, and hit this decode button. You'll be able to find your output in the folder that you specified and the output should look something like this. There you go. That's how you use the Teensy Sound Font Decoder. Now we're going to give you a little sampler of what you can do with your decoded files. As you see when you press the middle button, a flute starts to play. And when we change these knobs, things like the frequency and the amplitude of the output change as well. This really puts on display some of the cool things that our Wavetable Synthesis library can do, like looping of a note as well as interpolation and changing the pitch. Next we'll show you how to actually encode this up and run it on your Teensy. So now we will show you how we created uh, that tutorial that uh, had the flute changing pitch and changing volume using those uh, analog knobs. So go ahead and open up the examples folder and then uh, open up simple wavetable and then you'll open up the simple wave simple wavetable sketch. Sketch is super simple so it's a great place to get started. Um, you see that we're including the two uh, files that were output from the decoder script. Um, we got basic flute one samples.cpp CPP and basic flute samples.h. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you include these along with any sketch that you're creating. Um, you see we're including right there the header file for the basic flute one samples output and we're instantiating one instance of a wave two object <clears throat> and we're passing that wave two object to a mixer and the mixer is going to the output of the actual audio board so next you see we are setting the wavetable instrument to basic flute one um, you might be wondering where you where you find this value in your decoded samples um, go ahead and go to the dot h of the instrument that you would like to play um, you're going to look for this instrument data type and the variable name of that line is going to be what you want to put into the set instrument call of the wavetable object as you see we are doing here. We're also setting the amplitude to 1 um, that controls, it's, a, it's just basically a float value between 0 and 1 it controls how loud it will play. Uh, next you see in the loop um, the knobs are what control the frequency and the gain um, and we're dividing by just some values to make sure that we're not going too high or too low with the frequency or the gain. Um, and then if the button's pressed, uh, we're going to stop playing the wavetable object if the wavetable object is currently playing a note. Otherwise, we're going to start playing a specific frequency, and that's whatever frequency that the knob is set to at this current point in time. And then we're going to constantly be updating the frequency um, as the note is playing, so it'll pl it'll change the frequency as the the note is being played. So this is just one super simple example of something that you can do with this wavetable object. Um, of course, there are many more advanced things that you can do with it. Uh, and if you look in the examples folder of the directory, you'll find other examples that do some fun things with MIDI and multiple instruments playing at once. Uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, we'd love to hear what you end up creating with this awesome library, and we hope that you have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching, everyone.